Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Elena Reister, and in this channel, I document my whole experience in creating an online business. In this video, I wanna talk about something that happened this week in the promotion of one of my YouTube videos, and if this happens to you, why it matters, and how you should fix it. So this week, I had a YouTube video go live on my main channel. And as usual, I promote it within Facebook groups. And if you wanna see more about my promotion strategy, you can check out this video above about how I reached 100 subscribers on my main channel. So when I promoted it, I noticed that my you, that when I put in the link, it didn't bring up the thumbnail preview of my YouTube channel or of my YouTube video. And so you can see here, this is what the, the link looked like. It just had youtube.com in the, in the link and it didn't have the thumbnail. And I thought that this probably wasn't the biggest deal because I, in Facebook, you know, thumbnails probably aren't as important and I couldn't figure out how to fix it or why it was happening. So I just went ahead and um, promoted it on the different Facebook groups that I promoted in. What I noticed is in my YouTube analytics is that I wasn't getting as many views as I was expecting to get um, just from having promoted in these groups before and the general conversion over to views that I see. So about the next day at, at 10 a.m., so 23 hours after this video had been live, I figured out what had happened. And basically when I first pasted the link into Facebook, the video was still being scheduled to go live. It was a few minutes before it went live. So when Facebook pulled the data from YouTube, it didn't have a photo yet because it wasn't a live video. So while the link still worked, the um, photo wasn't there. So what I had to do instead um, is I had to re-scratch uh, from Facebook to YouTube so that it could actually pull in that thumbnail. So once I figured out how to do that, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a minute, um, I re-promoted on Facebook. And so in those same Facebook groups, I didn't promote to as many of the Facebook groups because I had already promoted it once, but I used the exact same caption and then I just added in the link again that brought in the thumbnail. So you can see here's what it looked like with the thumbnail now in the post. And you can already just see the engagement difference between the two where I got one like on the first post and I have nine on this post. And so what you can see is that that happened at 10 a.m. Um, and I went from 30 views at 10 a.m. to three hours later, 1 a.m. or 1 p.m., I had 78 views. So in three hours, I more than doubled the amount of views compared to 23 hours because of that thumbnail being there. So what I've realized from this experience is having thumbnails on Facebook are very important. I also wanna show you the subscribers that one day after the video had gone live, I had two subscribers that had come into, or two subscribers from this video. Um, however, two days after re-promoting that video, so three days after it went live, I had been up to 11 subscribers. So most likely I would have missed out on at least nine subscribers had I not re-promoted with the thumbnail. So if this happens to you, I want you to know how you can fix it. So if you Google the um, Facebook sharing debugger right here, and I will have the um, link for this in the description below if you need to go see it. And so what you can see is that here you can pull in the information. So if I copy the link from that YouTube video and put it into the sharing debugger and hit debug, what you're going to see is now it's pulling in the link preview. Originally, this was not there um, when I was having the issues before. It was just showing the same thing that I showed you on that first post. So what can then happen is if you hit scrape again, it's going to re-bring over that information. So you can see here that it was December 18th that it brought in that information and it will keep it there until you basically force it to re-bring in the information. So you can see here that now um, nothing changed because I had already done this before, but when I did this originally, it 
brought in the new thumbnail, I closed out all of my Facebooks and then reopened a Facebook, reposted the link, and now it had the thumbnail in there. And so this is going to be a way that you can make sure that you have thumbnails in all of your Facebook posts because it clearly makes a very large difference in the amount of views that you're going to get on a video. I really hope that this was helpful to you all and I hope that you liked this video and if you did hit the like up button and please subscribe to my channel to learn more about my process in creating an online business and things that I have learned and I will see you guys in the next one.